What's up, people? It's that time of the month yet again. The old September monthly review. It's ending a little early, but that's because next Friday is October, so next week is an October week. And then I think we're going to have a five-week October month banger. So let's get through reviewing what we've had so far. It's been uh, There's been some variety. The last couple weeks have been uh, pretty hot, to say the least. But remember, if you like what you see, like, subscribe to that notification bell. Give me a follow over on Instagram and TikTok at Carlody Time. And let's uh, jump into the old review skis. We're going to start just going through these NASCAR cards. This, these NASCAR cards. We're going to go through these real quick. And yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, nothing's really worth anything. Um, we got some cool stuff here. Um, this one's pretty cool. It's got some uh, some old Jersey stuff on it. Cool. Um, it's fun to open these. I don't think I will again, to be honest. Maybe I will. I shouldn't say I'm not going to, but. Uh, kind of uneventful anyway we'll just uh, push those off to the side uh, because they don't really count as anything uh, we'll take a big uh, a look at these big old jumbo Johnnies real quick you've seen them before not that exciting slide that out I'm gonna go through our updated little anniversary binder very cool we got Pikachu and then oh, if I can get this open Moving, jumping all the way to the latest, the latest uh, generation, as they say, we got, we got our friend Groovy, we got Score Bunny, we've got Sobble, like you've seen him before, we've got Rowlet, as we work our way ba backwards, I feel like I was about to say bathroom, but, uh, but I'm pretty empty, and there's Chespin, Fennekin, and then course Froki got Snivy some nice uh, black and white action Tepic got Asha Watt finishing off that uh, little generation we're gonna go into Turtwig at a level 10 he's been trained up a slight bit you've got Chimchar who's been uh, trained up a little less and Piplup uh, somewhere right in the middle into Mudkip Torchic, my last starter in the games that I actually played. Then we got Trico, who I don't think I've ever used. And then, ooh baby, I think, uh, what, Neo Destinies or something. The old oversized cards. Chikorita, Cindy Quilly, Cyndaquil, and then Frickin' boy, Totodile. All right, that's a wrap there. Let's put it to the back. And then what everybody cares about is the door that doesn't really close pops open. We're gonna pop the top on this. And be sure to stay tuned to the end because I got a little something special. Don't skip right there. Let's uh, take, take a little journey with me, okay? Please, please, I need the, the, watch, the watch time. Um, I don't really know what, uh, oops, I don't really know if these were already revealed, but I'm sure they were. I think there's more in there. We'll take a look in a little bit. Oh boy. Got this cool little coin that just surprised us. A little scratched up, but, uh, what do you expect? It's a crappy little coin. Put it to the side. Of course, we've got to start out with our energies. Got a lot of them. I don't really know how many. I never count. I should sort them by type. Spend way too much time on that. Um, and that's about it. We're gonna look at some Weiss Schwartz. Get a Climax Rare, I believe. Got this one a few times. Uh, okay, go like uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we got that one. We got this Broken Curse. Very, very cool. We got this Climax coming, putting an end. To what? I'm not sure. Got another Climax coming with a new partnership. Very cool. We got another Climax coming 
Incredible power. Wow. Incredible. We got uh, last minute safe. Climax rare. Is there any climax uncommons? It doesn't seem like it. And I still need to learn how to play this game. Now I believe this is our stack of commons, our Pokemon English commons, which is, uh, you know, pretty light in general, even though it's a huge freaking stack. So let's go through them quick. We didn't have any like booster box openings, so there was nothing to really uh, bog us down to say the least. Or there is nothing to bog us down, except what's coming up in a few sections. You think I should start timestamping this stuff? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember to like, subscribe if you're watching this. If you already are liking and subscribing, thanks. Um, that's a lot of effort for you. Anyway, we're gonna keep going through this. Nothing special, lots of repeats. More comments. Oh, very cool. Which one of these is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, oh yeah, oh, these are commons. Oh, wow, you haven't seen these before. Oh, you like you like this hair cross? Wow, that's a cool hair cross. Oh, how about this uh, cash farm sunny form and how about all these other ones? Oh, wow, ooh, wow, okay. Oh, Lapras, he's a common, I can't believe it. Oh man, we got this, yep, cute little ducklet and then this Aaron destroying the building. Maybe he's building it up and I just have a, a screwed up imagination. I think he's taking it apart to uh, kill people. That's really not good. I should uh, fix that. We're gonna put this one on top because this Drowsy is our favorite common of the month. There we go. Nice little uh, nice little Drowsy roaming the beach for some, uh, for some action. Put all those back there. My dad's calling me. We're gonna get to it later. Daddy should know we got some important business to take care of. I'm busy not making any money off this. Okay, so we got these Japanese commons. Very cool. Very nice. Much better quality, of course. Put them right on top of there and get straight into some Weiss Schwarz commons. Um, yep, yeah, it was cool to open this. I got another box for October, so stay tuned. Is there any sets that you guys have opened that you think I should open? Because I'm totally new to this world and I really don't know what I'm doing. And this is kind of my face whenever I open anything that looks shiny or good. Because I, you know, I don't really know anything, but I, you know, it seems good. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep going through these. I'm hungry, I need to eat. Man, we got a hawk pig, pig hawk. Oh, I also found out that it's, I think it's Gouther, right? It's not Gother, something. Our boy, uh, Mr. Cody, who sponsored that Fine Chilling Rain booster box episode was able to correct a lot of the shit I got wrong with this uh, Seven Deadly Sins um, box opening. It's pretty cool, you know? Anyway, we're gonna move into the, uh, the uncommons uh, with the stack not too much shorter than the commons, but you know, it's still a lot and it's a lot of repeats. So we don't really care about these. We're just gonna skip through them. If I skip a card, oh well. I don't want my arms to fall off and I don't want to be too boring because we already got enough boring shit going on with all these repeats. Do I know what I'm saying? No, I still don't know what I'm saying. I have an eight. I told you that earlier, were you paying attention? Are you even paying attention now? I'm sure nobody watches. Uh, but we got this nice Dragonair. We're gonna put Dragonair on top. And we're gonna put Dragonair right over here. As we get into a short, short stack of Uncommons. Put the Japanese version of the Uncommons, the much better quality Uncommons. Ooh, we're gonna put Metagross at the front. Very cool. We're gonna put him right on top, right over there. As we move into our Vice Farts, Uncommons, very nice stuff. I like the art on these, pretty cool. Pretty well done, like like this card, I think, I think he said it's pronounced like cow, so Gowther, which I thought I was saying, maybe I was saying Gother, but yep, pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, whoa, 
Okay, we're gonna keep going through the ease. Um, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, which one's gonna be my favorite? I just don't know. Boy, that could have been a nice favorite. Wonder why. It's because they look really happy, you know? Cody? Am I getting that right? Probably not. Are you even paying attention, Cody? Cody? I'm saying your name, Cody. How about Aaron? Aaron, you paying attention? These are people that uh, are subscribed to me for some reason. Jason, I don't think you watch, but uh, hey, you out there? Uh, we're getting in some rares right now. Cause I almost dropped the whole, the whole bit of them. Level Canyon. We got some uh, Shining Fates uh, rares in here. Nothing exciting. It's time to view some reverses. Whoa, whoa, hey, okay. Wow, we really got some pulls this month. Oh my god. Oh my god, pan poor reverse, you're going on. Oh, poor you gone too. You're oh my god, no. Oh. oh okay, this is mixed in there. We'll see him a little later. And yep, nothing really too special. We'll put that right over there. As we get into our Pokemon Hollows. Oh maybe you saw this guy earlier. Yveltal? Amazing rare from Shining Fates? Yeah, I think you have. Cinderace V, Alcrimin V, Eva Vimex, all from Shining Fates. As we get into some shiny, shiny goodies. Shiny, 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 shiny. Man. Shining Fates is a fun set, and it's a good thing that it's going down in value. Okay, we got all these promo non promos. Don't really understand the point of that. We got this cool full art trainer, Rose. Stoutland B, the Daug, Sherem, Hollow, Magirna, Hollow. We got Japanese, Zerora, Japanese, Giratina, Japanese, Magirna. If you have short term memory loss, you can grab the two right here. Japanese, much better, of course. Anyway, we're going to keep going. We're going to steal XV, and as you can see on the end, we have this Sylveon of Emax from Evolving Skies. Very cool, very cool. I think that was from a first partner pack. Heck, if I'm not mistaken. More of these things that nobody really cares about. Uh, yep, and nobody cares about these. Anyway, some Vice Farts rares. We got the old Merlin surprise reveal. Double rare, followed by the King, uh, double rare as well. Uh, we got a uh, Hendrickson. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Isn't that right, Cody? And two. Jeepers, there's a big, uh, I don't know if that's a Skeeter or what. Anyway, reverse or really rare. Another really rare. Another. Oh no! Now we're into single rares. Should have ordered these reverse. Uh, Cowther, Gowther, whatever you want to call them. Thur, thur. We got Hawk. Uh, Merlin. Um, another Gowther. Uh, her, 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 and the old promo. Oh man, he told me how to pronounce this one too, but I completely forget. Uh. Me, 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 it's not, I said Meliodas or some shit, and it's not that. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Melio, 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 Melio? I'm sorry, Melio. We're gonna get into some of the highlights. There's only one Pokemon card that's in a hard case, but that's because he's a little surprise. We're gonna save for later. Of course, we got this triple rare, last minute save. Very nice. Very cool pull. Pretty dark in general, but uh, you know what? It's nice. Hard case. Then we got this Elaine from Seinfeld in a hard case. The old secret rare, super rare, whatever you want to call it rare. Um, it's got a little Britannia, Britannia. I don't know what it's called, but a very cool pull. That was our pull of the box, as they say. And then, and then, ooh, oh boy, did you see that? Oh, oh. Oh, hey, it's this Duraludon GameStop promo. A little, little GameStop watermark, that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is just a promo card that already exists and they just put a watermark on it or what, but uh, that's pretty cool. Surprised I didn't uh, expect to get when I ordered some stuff from there. But we're gonna throw it off to the side and get into, before we end the video, our little little end of the video surprise. So, I was uh, back in Michigan this past weekend and I dug through my old stuff. I was getting a, a pizza oven and some other stuff, by the way. 
uh, attend a wedding, but uh, you know, this is of course why I was really there. Anyway, so I grabbed this tin, which is from, from 2009. I don't remember if I got this, if my brother got this, I don't know where the hell this is from. But uh, we'll get into this a little later. There's also these two, whoops, these two things. Um, I think there's more, more of these somewhere, but um, I think one of them only has these uh, verse system cards in them. And I think it's just from like a starter deck, it's not that one. It's this one. But I thought these were cool. And I wanted to just uh, put them in a video to uh, fill some time. And we got this Magneto. Uh, I never actually played this game, and I don't know how it's played to this day. Um, okay, that's a uh, Titania. Okay. I, uh, yeah, never got into this game, but I liked the art in it. We got this freaking cool bat plane. Very nice. We're going to keep going through these. I just kind of like... Uh, I was into uh, comics and shit. Um, just wanted to get some cards, but I ended up never really playing or buying any packs or anything like that. Oh, Enchantment Verse. Oh, very nice. Uh, we got this Helmet Zemo. Okay, very cool. I, I don't. I, I never even played this, to be honest. I think I just got a few cards and called it a day. Um, I don't remember what these tins are from. Something in 2000, 2005? Who the hell knows? Um, Dr. Decibel. Oh, baby, he's rocking out. Uh, okay, is there anything cool in the rest of this? Anything hollow? Probably not. But the arts in here are pretty cool, I will say. Even though they're probably worthless. Um, so there's all of this stuff. Ooh, is that Spider-Man? Nope, nope, nope. Oh yeah, here we go. Good old Spidey-Man. Does this name of a movie that just came out or something? Again, if you can't tell, I've, uh, been pretty out of touch with all that lately. Unfortunately, with everything going on in life. Uh, put that... We'll put that up there. Out of you, who really cares? Card right there. In the other tin, we have some random-ass, um... Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, Star Deck Joey from way back when. Um, these have been well loved, um, and are honestly I, I don't really I, I'm not gonna put a value on any of these. I don't really know if if these are actually worth anything. Kind of doubt it, and I don't know who would. I think this is like a fake Japanese card. But I also forget if Japanese cards are supposed to not have anything on the back, like the English cards. Because I only got, uh, like, like this stuff. I don't know if Japanese cards have anything on the back. Um, but I only got a couple packs of Japanese cards. But I am, like, 99% sure this is fake. This one has been, uh, creased quite a few times from Starter Deck Yugi. Wow, that's really cool. Um, and then all this stuff, I don't, uh, I don't really know why some of this stuff is in the tin and other stuff isn't or whatnot, like, all this, it's just random shit. Into some more stuff, uh, in these very non-form-fitting sleeves. Um, I mean, you'll see some of these are first edition, I really don't remember a lot of set names, um, but yeah, I mean, I would still say they're probably all worth probably nothing because they're not in great shape. Um, we got another card destruction. I don't know if this is supposed to be a deck I was using or something, but uh, it's probably a horrible deck. You can let me know down below how bad this would have been back then. Um, but I'll just keep scrolling through these. And at some point, I will get to what is my favorite ever Yu-Gi-Oh card and pull. So you can start your guessing right now. And I'm pretty sure you will not get it right. Pretty cool stuff right there. Le Legacy Hunter. First edition from... What the hell is AST? I don't remember what that one is. Um, 
collector tins. Um, yeah, I don't remember a lot. Of Legacy of Darkness, first edition. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, what is this? Metal Raiders? Is that what it is? As you can see, I'm not really treating them uh, with the utmost care because they're already ruined. We're gonna get into here. Uh, again, I, some, of, some of this shit is just really random. Got a lot of, uh, got some football cards for some reason. Um, Carson Palmer, that's been a fucking while, hasn't it? 2016, so five years, not bad. A lot of stuff in here is more than five years old. Um, I don't know if there's anything, I guess this is upside down. Um, anything worth talking about over here? Um, my arms are dying, so I'm just gonna be using the thing as support. Uh, I'm gonna put those to the side. Got some, oh, I've got a super rare first edition, a core compression. That's pretty, pretty funky. I don't know what set this is. Uh, yeah, this is making for some riveting content. But I promise I am gonna upload so much of what I'm doing because you know what, I want to. So, uh, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Are you falling asleep yet? You should put this on as you're trying to fall asleep. Um, I, I bought a few of these at some point and I don't know why. I never actually made a deck with these. Uh, but it lets you uh, lets you attack your opponent's life points directly, so yeah, that, that's that's cool. But we'll put these back in there, and then we're gonna get to this absolutely demolished little uh, silver deck case, steel alloy deck case thing, where nothing in here is sleeved. Okay. Hit that. Nothing in here is sleeved besides uh, besides this one card, which I will put at the end. That's my favorite card, and we're gonna turn around. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it right right over here, right to the side, right there. Uh, and I'm gonna split this up. Now again, like I said before, I, I don't know why I decided to sleeve some stuff up and not other stuff because I'm sure this stuff would have been worth something um if i had just taken care of it you know just done something simple like so simple as to take care of it like this is uh, an older card from the from the tins um it's not in a horrible shape but it's not crispy so nobody's gonna want that uh i think this is also a reprint another blade knight uh, as running some uh, warrior deck at some point, but um, it, yeah, I, I don't remember what the hell the deck was and I, uh, blah, blah, blah. My arms are dying. Legacy of Darkness first edition, Exiled Force, okay, all right. As you can see, a lot of Legacy of Darkness and there's a reason that I remember that abbreviation. Legacy of Darkness, right? That's what I said. Uh, okay, now we got a bunch of shit again. It makes no sense. We got a dark hole from Legend of Blue Eyes. Is, is that what the name is? I think that's the first expansion set. Um, I never really pulled too much from there. We got this one, again, with a fat old crease. This Harpy's Feather Duster. That looks like it, almost like it's been through the wash or something. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's cool. Uh, it's just kind of listening to me moan right now. Is it turning on, guys? Is it turning on? Okay. Thanks for staying uh, on this video if you have until now. Um, and if you've made it this far, you're going to realize or you're going to find out what my favorite card ever is. And it is. Uh, take your guesses right now. I'll give you a uh, little count of three. One, two, three. Oh baby, got an injection fairy lily, which is probably still in not tremendous shape, but 
better than the others. Um, this is my first, maybe only booster box I've ever pulled of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Darkness. And yeah, I was hyped. Tried to build a deck around this. I was never, you know, my, my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! career never really took off. But remember, if you like what you see, like, subscribe to the notification bell. Give me a follow over on Instagram, TikTok, at Curly Time. Thanks for staying tuned to this. I'll see you on Sunday with a much shorter video. And I'm realizing now, because I haven't seen it in so long, very off center. Very off center. But, uh, yep, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Mm -hmm.